Here we're going to convert our revenue and our expenses from a cash basis to an accrual basis. And we're going to do that by looking at our operating liabilities and our operating assets. And any changes here in our operating liabilities or operating assets are going to be reflected here in our revenue or our expenses. And then we're going to take these changes in, that we have in our revenue or our expenses here and we're going to either add them or subtract them from our cash basis. And that'll give us our accrual basis for either the revenue or the expense. Okay, the examples I'm going to go through here for our liabilities will be our unearned revenue and our accounts payable. Unearned revenue will affect our revenue here as far as net income and the accounts payable will affect here our expenses here as far as our net income. Now on, for our asset accounts here I'll go through our, our accounts receivable and our inventory or prepaid expenses. And our accounts receivable will affect here our revenue as far as net income and the inventory uh, or prepaids will affect our expenses here as uh, net income. Now that gives us all four situations here that we'd have to handle when we're converting our cash to our accrual basis. All right, let's look at the case here where our unearned revenue is increased by $6,000 during the year. That means that our revenue would have been reduced here by $6,000. So we take our $100,000 cash basis and subtract that reduction in revenue of $6,000 and we get a $94,000 revenue on an accrual basis. Now if we look here where we've got the unearned revenue as it decreased by $5,000 during the year, that means that our revenue here realized would have been would have increased by $5,000. So we take our cash basis of $100,000 and add the $5,000 increase in our revenue, that would give us $105,000 revenue on the accrual basis. All right, looking at our accounts payable, we would have increased by $15,000 during the year. That means our expenses would have also increased by $15,000. So we take our cash basis of $100,000 and add that increase of $15,000 in our expense, and we get $115,000 expense here on their accrual basis. Now if we look at the situation where our accounts payable decreased by $25,000 during the year, that means we'd have had $25,000 less in expenses. So we take our cash basis of the $100,000 and subtract that reduction here in expenses of $25,000 and we get $75,000 here expense on the accrual basis. All right, looking at our accounts receivable, if we had an increase during the year of $50,000 in our accounts receivable, that means we've also had an increase here in our revenue of $50,000. So we take our cash basis here of $100,000 and add that $50,000 increase in our revenue and we'd have a $150,000 worth of sales revenue here on the accrual basis. Now if we look at our accounts receivable and it had reduced by $10,000 during the year, we'd have a reduction here in our revenue of $10,000. So taking our cash basis of $100,000 and subtract out that reduction of $10,000 in revenue and we'd have $90,000 worth of sales revenue on the accrual basis. Okay, let's look at inventory and prepaid expenses. Let's just say we had an increase here in the inventory of 20000 during the year. That means that we had a reduction here in our expenses of $20,000. So taking our cash basis of $100,000 and subtract out our $20,000 reduction in our expenses, that would leave us here with $80,000 of uh, expenses here on the accrual basis, or that would be the cost of goods sold for the inventory. Now looking at the case where we had a $12,000 reduction here in inventory, that means our expenses would have increased by $12,000. So taking our cash basis of $100,000 and add that expense increase here of $12,000, we'd have $112,000 here on the accrual basis.